guys, it's Wednesday. Uh, you're back with Gig Lebowski, mainly known as Michael. That's who I really am. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I've already taken a few orders here. Let me get you caught up. Uh, again, if you're new, I appreciate you being here. Uh, let's see here. I've done a Dollar General. I guess they're going to be starting to pop off now since they're uh, on the on the uh, platform. I can't get the pin to move over. It was 425, uh, 475. It was going 1.8 miles. Literally across the street from the Dollar General. I just had to drive to it from when I was coming into town. Um, and she gave me a $2 tip, so it ended up being $6.75. Uh, it was a five-minute shop time, two-minute travel time. I uh, also had a Bojangles, $8.50 for six miles. It was a four-minute wait time and a 15-minute drive time, which put me in the area that I was always trying to get to anyway. Um, then we had a Cracker Barrel for $5 for 4.8 miles. No wait time, 12-minute drive. Um, and I declined one DoorDash order. So since then, I've got a Chick-fil-A. I'm sitting here. Uh, I know it's not ready, but uh, it's 450 for 3.2 miles. Uh, we're currently at 59% on our AR. Like I say, we are making that run for Top Dasher. Um, I know most of you wouldn't do it, but I was so close. Why not, right? But uh, let's not try to talk about that all day like I did the other day. So. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's let's go pick this up. All right, guys, we just did a uh, McDonald's order for four dollars fifty cents. It went two point three miles, no wait time, and uh, seven minute travel time. Um, did pretty much drove right back to that McDonald's. Um, not one order from DoorDash, so I put them on pause and accepted this uh, Grubhub order for fourteen dollars and some change for uh, about four miles, I think it was. So let's go get it. Ten items, man. That's a pretty nice order. All right, guys, we got a 1225 from O'Charlie's from DoorDash for 8.4 miles. And it was ready when I walked in, man. Let's go. This is a big order. I was expecting to have to wait because I was literally in front of O'Charlie's when I got it. I just think people were just like passing on these long mile drives. It's literally going to take me 15 minutes. I had no wait time. So this is a 15 minute order for 1225. Could go up. Who knows? I haven't had much go up in a while, but uh, it could go up. All right, guys. This is the last talk to you. I have a uh, had a McDonald's order. Don't judge me. 3.25 for 2.8 miles. It was along the way. I was trying to go back, so I just took it. Figured it'd be sitting there because nobody would take it because it was no tip order. Uh, and it took five minutes to deliver. No wait time at McDonald's. Uh, and then I picked up a Nukes Eatery for 6.50. It turned into 7.50. It went 2.9 miles. Five minute wait time and a five minute drive time. So now I'm at the River Nile cafe which I haven't been to in forever and it is a six dollar order and it's going a couple of miles I think she said this is the third time this order has been picked up so I am definitely taking pictures and got my guard up on this one so I don't know what to expect I don't think somebody's either the dashers are keeping it uh, I can see one dasher keeping it but not not two so, it just sounds like a person getting free food to me. So, we'll definitely, it's a hand it to me, so we're definitely going to be taking pictures and sending pictures to the person. So, anyway, guard up. Ever find yourself in that situation where a person's, the restaurant's told you that they've made that order, this is the third time they've made it, and you get there, ask questions to the person you're delivering to. I asked her, is this the third time you've sent, sent this order? She goes, yeah, I just, they say they're bringing it and then they don't. Um, I told her, let me get a picture of you with the food if you don't mind. That way we can both document that it, it made it here. And she was like, oh, okay. So I'm not playing games. <laughs> it was to a furniture company. These people look like they have money, but I don't know their personal life. So uh, I don't know what they're doing, they're playing games or something or somebody out there is just being dirty. Easy to find, I don't know why anybody didn't deliver it. But anyway, I've got documentation. Bam. Well, since I'm a nerd and I write down everything, I've dialed it down to the, um, I've taken 61 of the last 100. Now, apparently, I've taken 60. I must be off one uh, because my rating right now is 60%. Uh, so I know what I got to have now. At least I know where I stand. This is a 650 for 1.8 miles from Chili's. Definitely taking that. Much appreciated. But uh, yeah, I know what I got to do now to get Top Dasher. So. At least we know that. Let me get this accepted. Shoot, that was four seconds. <laughs> All right, back to work. All right, yeah, that was a uh, no wait time and a uh, four minute drop off, dude. She's right down the road. Uh, it's insane. Insane. I've had green lights go my way today. 
I've had everything go to my way today for the most part. So <laughs> it's not always that way. So but now she was like, here's the food. I'm like, here, okay. And I'm like, boom, in the bag, boom, it's done. But anyway, uh, yeah, that was a quick transaction for 650. Uh, I'm on my little break here, uh, four door dash. Um, I schedule myself in blocks in case you're new. I schedule eight to 10 because 10, 15, 10 30 ish is just dead as hell sometimes. So I get back on at 10 15 and I run till two and then I'm off till 2 15 and then I run till five. So that's how my schedule works for myself. Uh, but, uh, I'm still on Uber Eats and Grubhub, although you, you wouldn't think I was signed up with them. Uh, I don't ever get anything hardly from them anymore. I, I don't know why, but anyway, that's talked about almost every day or every other day. So, um, anyway, uh, at this break, we are sitting at 61%. So we're just going to say we've accepted 61 of the last 100, apparently. Maybe my numbers were off. So now we know we've got 61 out of the last 100. So, uh, you know, it's getting closer. I've got myself scheduled for tomorrow and Friday. Ooh, I can dash now. Cool. It must be busy. Uh, that just means there's uh, like $3 orders or, I mean, not uh, $2.50 orders not being taken. It's not busy. I don't think it is. But I'll dash now. No worries. Um, but anyway, yeah. At this point, I'm just rambling. <laughs> Can't argue with the orders. It's $5.75 uh, for 3.2 miles, eight items. It's going to stay 575 but I'm cool with that. It's not it's not bad versus the miles. So let's go pick it up. Obviously, the Amazon bags. I don't use DoorDash bags because they're so flimsy. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's the first time for everything. I've never seen a 575 go up. It went up to 599 I mean, it didn't go up a lot. It went up $0.24. Cents. But still, I've never seen a 575 go up at all. I'm going to come right back and comment on this real quick. I just thought about this. That was a Panera order. It was a order requested by Panera because it didn't show the items um, and uh, to, to me that, that confirms to me those eight items uh, it confirms to me that, that Panera keeps the tips or keeps a portion of the tip um, I truly believe that I've always believed that and to me it just it seems like I should I should have asked the customer but I don't want to be that guy hey how much did you actually tip because this is what it's saying you know but I just, I really stand by the fact that I'm pretty certain that Panera keeps uh, portions of the tips or all the tips sometimes, depending on how big the order is. Firm believer in that. Yeah, I took a 275 because I had to pee so bad, dude. It was like four miles. Um, I didn't get a screenshot because I just had, I had to go, I had to pee. Um, it was Chick-fil-A and surprisingly the no tip order is freaking ready, which is good. But I mean, you know, usually you have to wait on any order there. Um, it took nine minutes to get across town to drop it off. Uh, the lady pin marked the location across the street from where she was at, which was paying the ass to get to. And then I told her, sorry for the delay. The GPS is acting weird. So I tried to blame it on the GPS because she put, she put the pin mark in. So anyway, she puts an explanation point behind the name of the business she works for. And, uh, you know, I'm like, okay. So then I get it in there. And hand it that hand it obviously she wasn't there to, to hand it to so you know heaven forbid you know you give a cash tip which i was not expecting don't get me wrong i took it because i had to pee um but anyway uh sent her a thank you with about probably 20 explanation points behind it so maybe she'll give me a bad rating who cares uh, anyway we got a uh it just makes me mad dude you don't have to be a, a dick to people um but anyway, um, got a Cracker Barrel. Not gonna steal my mojo. I uh, got a Cracker Barrel for 8.50, going 6.9 miles. Let's go pick it up. I don't know what's more sad: the fact that this person just ordered a Dr Pepper from Chick Fil A. That's it. Or the fact that it took four minutes to get it. One or the other. I'm not sure. It's a 4.50 order for three point something miles. I can't remember. One drink. Four minute wait. <laughs> both are both are odd and sad. So anyway, that's kind of weird. All right, guys, I got groceries in the back and uh, the drive from Dothan. Uh, I got some cold stuff, so I got to get that in the house. Um, so I don't have my numbers in front of me, but they'll be on here. You'll see them on the screen. Um, we did uh, 
Man, I guess I, I guess I don't know the totals as far as uh hold on one second. Did 17 DoorDash orders and one Grubhub, so we did 18 deliveries today uh, for a total of $128.17. Now $113 of that was on DoorDash and $14 of that was on Grubhub. So um, uh, that's what we have for now. <laughs> Got to get these groceries inside, so sorry for the quickness. Our totals for the day. Uh, we did 127 today, so uh, looking pretty good. Like I say, our daily goal now is, uh, oh, I got the phone in the way, sorry. Uh, I got, I got um, our daily, daily goal now is uh, $100 a day. So we should be at $300, but we're at $377. Now, if we go back to our old goal, we're still ahead of schedule. So uh, that's good. But anyway, old, old goal does not matter anymore. New goal is $100. Uh, so we're at $377.94. Uh, spent $78 in gas. I'll have to get gas tomorrow. Uh, we have an estimated mileage deduction of $157 and 36 cents that we can claim on taxes. Uh, we've done 50 trips this week and uh, drove 281 miles, um, averaging $19.10 an hour, a little below where we want to be, uh, averaging $1.34 per mile. And we're still at 2.5 trips per hour. Uh, and I've worked 19.8 hours. So um, still looking good for the week. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, here's my DoorDash numbers. Uh, you can see I'm at 63% acceptance rate. Uh, we're gonna creep up there. Now, uh, we're closing in on uh, tomorrow, which is normally my Friday. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna work Friday, uh, but uh, still haven't decided, but I'm on schedule to work Friday. Uh, it, if I gotta take a no-tip order to get to Top Dasher for the month, I'm too close to not be Top Dasher for the month. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it and see what it's like uh, since I have not been a top dasher since uh, man probably May of last year when I first started so um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes um, you know I, I took a couple of no tip orders today one was torturous and one was not so bad but they both suck because they didn't have a tip uh, but uh, yeah one was a, a a poor guy he was poor I could tell by when I drove up he was super nice super nice guy so I really didn't have a problem with it also his food was ready because he, he didn't tip nobody was picking it up uh, the other person was uh, super wealthy uh, she worked at uh, Alabama clinics I know the person she's I don't know her personally but I know she's like head of something in there uh, she didn't tip at all and she was a you know asshole to, to be blunt uh, on, on the uh, tax so um yeah so I don't I don't get people like that I, I really don't but anyway um that's where we're at for the week we're doing pretty good I can't complain uh, I never would have thought taking 450 550 orders would have made me more money than I was making and some of you guys probably laugh at that and don't believe me but if you've been following my channel you know that I'm sitting better than I was last week and the week before um, mainly because I'm just, I keep moving and these, these orders aren't so bad and they don't take long. I, I tell, I dial these things down for you guys and tell you the wait time and how long it actually took to deliver that order. So, I mean, they're, they're not bad. You know, I think we had what, one, two, three, that were over four. We had four deliveries today that were over five minutes wait time, five minutes or above. Um, so not bad at 18 deliveries. So. And they were all DoorDash. They're always DoorDash. But actually, oh wait, three DoorDash, one Grubhub. There you go. Um, but anyway, uh, appreciate you guys being here. If you're new, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Comment down below. It's a lot, I know, but please do it all. Uh, I'm very interactive with you all. Um, if, you, if you can't manage to comment, you can't manage to hit the like button, please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like I say, if you want to hear, uh, you know, get updates whenever, whenever, whenever I post a video. So uh, appreciate you guys. Have a good one and we'll see you tomorrow.